You know, it's always dangerous to make predictions about the future, but our research suggests that the next five to 10 years could be some of the best ones for productivity growth that we've ever seen. And the reason for that is really three things. First off, there's been a wave of just phenomenal technologies, especially in the area of digitization and artificial intelligence. Secondly, we've seen a wave of restructuring that's been accelerated by the pandemic. Companies have learned how to use work from home tools and other digital tools to rethink how they organize their workforce. And finally, we've had pretty aggressive monetary and fiscal policy by the US government and some of the other governments around the world that's pushing the pedal to the metal in terms of faster growth. When you put all three of those things together, we're likely to see significantly higher economic growth and productivity growth than we did in the past. In robotics, one thing that I'm really excited about is what's called offline reinforcement learning, which is this notion that you can learn behavior from a static offline data set. Uh, and we've seen advances in offline reinforcement learning in the past year or two, which have been pretty exciting. And what I'm excited about actually, even more so than that, is the promise of these algorithms to be applied to robotics problems, where you collect a very broad data set of robot interaction. The reason why this is important is that a lot of machine learning systems have been super successful by training on very broad data sets like Wikipedia, for example. We don't have Wikipedia for robotics. We don't have a huge data set that has robot interaction in it. What I'm really excited about is starting to actually aggregate and starting to get those kinds of data sets and then being able to learn from those data sets so that robots can generalize as broadly as the successes that we've seen in other areas of machine learning. There are two areas where I'm looking for big time progress in 2022. First, I think we'll see the first generation of AI designed drugs going into the preliminary first stage trials. Secondly, I think you're gonna see healthcare organizations using AI to understand and rejigger their logistics. One trend I expect to see next year is the use of different data sources and the combination of more different types of data. So to give you an example, in credit underwriting, I expect to see traditional credit bureau data being combined with both payroll data, alternative pay uh, day lending data, as well as transaction level data from bank accounts. Now, of course, there's a lot of promise from this new type of data, which is increased performance, but also potentially uh, improvements in financial access. But it remains to be seen if these promises will actually come true.